Hey, respect about It's funny you should ask that. A lot of people have asked, what is this music? Well, it came with this PlayStation theme. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This theme, and I don't know if it's available anymore, but it's the PlayStation 2019 wrap-up theme, which I got from completing a survey through uh, the PSN website at the end of the year. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's possible to get back, but yeah, it, it's. I thought if I'm gonna have a music at the start, that's less likely to be copyright stricken. It's probably gonna be one that PlayStation have provided. That being said. These Arkham videos, if you watch them on repeat, you might realise every now and again, there's a dropout of sound for about a minute. Um, and that's because Warner's music label, who obviously own the soundtrack to Arkham City, uh, have massively copyrighted the music. And because it's in-game use, you can't technically dispute it. The only reason you can dispute it is if it was your music. Mental. Which is why the moment I finish the streams, I spend an additional 10 minutes out of this computer exporting it for the YouTube repeat before it gets all twitchy and edited. Um, it's mental. Anyway, how are we all doing? How are we all doing this fine Sunday afternoon? Just play Batman Telltale. It's great, isn't it? Which one? Season 1? So different. I love it. Uh, it's a very different kind of Batman, but the DNA is all there. They bloody love us. They love it, I do. So if we got, all my stuff is saying there's one viewer, but I'm talking to at least four of you. So what's happening? Oh god, I've got stuff in my brows again. I can't spell mobile, it's alright, I can't spell in real life. You're tired, Rebecca, I'm not surprised, Cockley, you're up, 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 up quite late. Sleep schedule is screwed. Remember yesterday I was saying that Lou and I were planning to get up early, and if we do, we go to the shops. If not, we go to the shops tomorrow. Well, um... I woke up at like quarter past eleven, and only because my neighbour's um, uh, son and his wife were visiting, and they're super loud. They're always really loud when we're talking in the driveway, so that woke me up. And then um, Lou stirred awake, so just before twelve. So what's going to happen is while I'm streaming, Lucy's popping out just to get the essentials and like one meal's worth of stuff. Bless her. Uh, season 1. It's a lot of fun. Again, very different. Cobblepot especially. Uh, and the whole stuff with Vicky Vale. Did you get sleep to at least 7, Rebecca? My god, here! Have some tea. I gesture further toward the camera, but it's got it's going nowhere near the desk anymore. Anyway, you didn't come here for me rambling. Not some you did. You came for, here for Batman. It's time for the DLC. What is DLC? For those who... Uh, I've heard me say it many times, but aren't sort of seasoned into gaming. Uh, downloadable content. Although, in this case, because it was the remaster, it's all on the disc anyway. Um, just don't drop it again. Don't worry, it's on a separate table over here. If it falls, all it'll do is soak into the off-colour carpet, which is even more off-colour now. Yeah. Um, Penguin Telltale is like a between Gotham Penguin and Coin Penguin. Yeah, he's sort of like a... That's what's nice about their approach is they, they were like, do we just do a Batman story? And they absolutely they could have done, just done one. Uh, set within the worlds we already know, but they went, no, we'll, we'll do our own version because it's, you know, it works. No one needs to repeat it yesterday. I don't sleep. Respect Bell, are you Batman? So yeah, this is Harley Quinn's Revenge. This follows the main story. I've already played this. Um, it's not possible, possible for me to... Oh. <clears throat> yeah, so I need to finish Augmented Reality Training and acts of violence in the New Game Plus version to get 100%, but I've got 100% on the normal one. Uh, Grace Collectibles... What have I not got? Concept art? Huh? What's the concept art I've not got? Uh, that's probably to do with the challenge maps, I imagine. But Harley Quinn's Revenge, I have done. There's no way for me to get any new trophies. Maybe do it on stream. Oh, no. No, I won't. If I, after this session, I'm deleting this off the PlayStation to make room, because tomorrow, before I put up the vote on Instagram tonight, tomorrow we're going to be playing a Star Wars-related thing. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it? Hey, Blue Lou. Uh, we're going to play some Star Wars-related tomorrow, because it's Star Wars Day. But, um, yeah, so I've, I've played Harley Quinn's Revenge. There's nothing more I can do with it in terms of achievement. But here we go. Harley Quinn's Revenge. Spoilers for the main story, obviously, but if you've been watching these streams, you know the main story. 
I'm in. Any news, Barb? No. He's been gone two days. I'm worried. You know what he's been like since. I'll find him. I hope Bye. you're right. Harley Quinn's preparing for some kind Not of siege. Not Battlefront 2. No. What she Neither of the Battlefronts. Find Batman and get the hell out of there. Okay? Swing more daft. Don't worry, Barb. It's me. Remember? You sound just like him. <laughs> We've been playing a lot of dark games lately with Batman, so something lighter and dafter tomorrow. No speculation, you just have to tune in to find out from 2 p.m. You left me to die. I'm not playing Battlefront 2. Hey, thank you for the host! You left me to die. You left me to die. You left me to die. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Who the hell is this loser? Robin, Robin mother trucker. You're gonna beg you to stop. Hey, respectable. Thank you for the host. Connect Star Wars. No, I don't have Xbox. That's not happening. Um, bought Battlefront 2, no play it though, I just watched the cutscenes on YouTube as a story. Fair enough. That's the same bus that was in Arkham Asylum. Same colours. So yeah, we are Robin! Tim Drake Robin. I was going to say, can we check out the bios? We cannot. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, no new characters in this, but a lot of new stuff. And we're going to play through the whole damn thing today. Some tough challenges in here. Oh, there's some of these Joker mannequins. Oh, this is so creepy. Does it hurt? Shut your stupid mouth! Good, you're lucky. I need you later. I love how her skeleton, you can faintly see the pigtails just so you know it's Harley. <laughs> I wouldn't have figured that out, Respectable. I'm sorry. Once I'm once I'm streaming, I'm hosting, so I'm not able to do the technical stuff per se. But you're back, and that's the important thing. Tim Drake is the smartest Robin. Tim Drake is Barb, a damn fine. Found man. the missing cops. Quinn's got him. Well, the Troy Baker Negative. voice is quite I'm old. I'm gonna keep looking. I guess in the Arkhamverse. Harley's telling the cops she's got kid. some sort of plan for them. They'll be safe for now. Be careful. This will end okay. I promise. We'll help him once we find him. It's all we can do. Are we excited to be playing as Robin? Shaking things up a bit? <laughs> yes, Dr. Buster. Dale's in the chat. Arms for Dale. No, under ruse for Dale. Under ruse. As you can see, the GCPD is doing its best to keep the area contained. Commissioner, can you comment on reports that Batman is in Arkham City? Last time I checked, Miss Vale, Batman did not come under my jurisdiction. Robin Ruse. Yeah, he's not in the booty shorts and pixie shoes here. <laughs> There is a, uh, a story, I think it's called Endgame, Arkham City Endgame, uh, comics that takes place after this, uh, before this, but after Harley Quinn, uh, after the main plot, before Harley Quinn's Revenge. And uh, you find out that Joker set up like a contingency thing in event of his death that meant Batman would have some other stuff to sort out. Oh, that's creepy. Just hanging out. It's just sort of like... Presenting a Wonder City robot that's been graffitied. Ugh.
Screw you. How do we get out there then? Not very clear, is it? You wanna talk to me like that? I got what you call post-traumatic stress. Brought on by the violent death of a loved one. My doctor tells me they might trigger uncontrollable bouts of guilt. Or acts of extreme random violence. So, so I guess we have to go that way. You're crazy. The boyfriend got what's coming to you. In case you're wondering, I don't know this section. Where comes Harley? Well. Nah, she's probably still crying. You better get over the boss soon. She's turned into a liability. And what? Explosive you gel, gonna snap take over? flash, maybe Zip kick, shuriken. That I'd like to see. You think Rook I can't do shuriken. it? Oh, yeah. Bullet shield. And what's your gimmick? Freeze is a crazy scientist who's got that freezer gun. Two Face has got that bird thing going on. Oh, no. What's yours? I'll figure something out. Yeah, yeah everyone's right. not got like the longest case in this, but it's got pretty damn long. Killed all that family on Thanksgiving Day because your mommy burnt the turkey, and you probably got a new one. The turkey man. I like it. You gonna shut your mouth, or the? <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> Hang on. What's the snap flash uh, button again? <clears throat> oh yeah, shield bash! Forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, let's get him in the corner. No gaps! That's true. Superman is the OG. Although, to be fair enough, fair enough quoting the Incredibles just because Edna Mode is bloody brilliant. Uh, no, can't play this on New Game Plus. Uh, so the, the difficulty is slightly. Oh, look at that, it's in an R. The difficulty is obviously slightly easier than as we've been playing for the last few days. Um, oh, that bit of rubble is glitching. Uh, and also, um, you can see because the wavy lines are back for the combat. Uh, right. Probably another way around. Right? Uh, one thing about this, though, is it doesn't, um... Oh! Nice. It doesn't, uh, tell you what the hell you're doing. <laughs> People don't get Batman. Is Bruce Wayne's disguise. Yeah, no, we've, we've, uh, we've talked about this in previous streams. Bruce Wayne is the disguise. That man is who he really is. Keaton and Kevin Conroy and Christian Bale for the most part do that really well in the film. It's like the idea that... Actually, Adam West's Batman is perfectly like that all the time. Like, Bruce Wayne is absolutely the role he plays. I'm trying to remember how to do the snap flash. So there's a really cool move that you can do later. How do you do the snap flash? L2 circle quick fire snap flash. Okay. Yep. Uh, there it is. Watch this. <laughs> so a low level explosive to stun them, knock them down. Which will be helpful later when we're up against Titan. Oh, well, that's the thing. Clark Kent and Superman are exactly the same identity. He just dresses different, but he gets to play meek when he's when he's Clark in his day to day with other people. That's what I love about. That's all about Superman. He's exactly the same person at all times, but around other people, Clark behaves differently. Um, it's great because the moment like they're out of the room, he's like, right, okay. <laughs> Why phone box though in public? Because no one's looking. Um, he's probably not doing it at phone boxes much nowadays. He's probably zipping to the rooftops, getting changed and shooting off. Then again, phone boxes are even better places for Superman to change nowadays because people aren't using them. I do like the I do like the nod in the uh, the '78 movie where he sort of looks at the phone box and he's like, "Nah," and then he does the revolving door. That's really cool. 
Virtual God pretends to be Mortal Man is the hardest color. That's true. Oh but he's not a god. He's just a nice kid from Kansas. But the powers of a god. <laughs> eh, it's not a problem. When I kill this sucker, it'll be cool. Then I can. Nothing. Oh. No, I, I mean, I'm just being friendly. Trying to help. Oh shoot, he's there. God, here we go. Sorry, I'm going to have to concentrate because this is, uh, I have played this three times like I have the, the rest it's of making Arkham. Making sure it's done right. Harley's uh, the rest of Arkham City. Batman came through here earlier, and now he's up. Who's this but guy? I haven't, um, like, obviously because this takes less of your time than the main storyline, I'm not as familiar with it. Oof, there we go. Can't get through this way. They welded the door shut. Damn. In many ways, Clark was human as all, then shoots five in the sky. It's difficult to think of him as a god, and how fortunate we are, it does not occur to him. I know. Hey, Gallifrey, how you doing? Breaded chicken steak. New potatoes and beans. Nice. It's a really nice combo, actually. TB? TB? What's TB? Oh, God. Chicken and chips. Another one of those freaky monitors. Right. So we can't go that way. Hmm. What's the catch? Right, what's the grapple it keeps suggesting to us? Oh, it's just a misguided one of these. Okay. Sausages tonight. Oof, gotta miss sausages, not them in forever. Hmm. Taco Bell. The great Taco Bell. Go oh, on. Shoot. Pick it up. No way, man. That thing's dangerous. You saw what it did. Batman's wow, utility belt. The belt. No, it's Batman's belt. So what? It's still just a belt. What? You afraid of a little electric shock? Don't do it. He's screwing with you. No, I'm not. I knew it. Last guy oh, tried to pick up that belt. Thank you for the host of the old friend. Screw you. You pick it up. <laughs> no way. That thing's dangerous. Some, some kind of smoke. Oh, shockstick dudes. God, I hate them. Ah. All right. We're going to make this up. Oof. This will be easy, freak. I love that Harley's thug sort of armor isn't like the Tiger Guard's armor. They're literally wearing like they're literally wearing hockey pants. I'm not wearing hockey pants. Oh god. Yep. 
mother won't recognize you. Go, Tim. How oh, was your computer doing, Rebecca? The utility belt. Zaz is terrifying. Tim, He's not here, though. We put him away now. Have you found him? What's the bet in the caption comes up underneath me? <laughs> no! Two days earlier! First time! Boom! <laughs> uh, what time did we finish? It was about quarter to two, I think, we, we wrapped up. Maybe sooner. There's Just Gordon. keep the damn site covered. I don't want that mad woman getting out of there. Understand? Harley Quinn. Damn, Rebecca. <laughs> How'd you guess? Her goons ambushed my guys and dragged them towards the steel mill. Ah, we can't get close. I'll handle it. Gordon's you second sure? voice in two games. You know she blames you, right? Someone Could else be a plays in for the third, uh, for the Fall prequel. back and stop Someone anyone else, else getting hurt. I'll handle the rest. When this mess is cleared up, we need to talk about that uh, other problem. Remember? I know you blame yourself. Don't. It wasn't your fault. Mm, screw Joker. Definitely wasn't my fault. Jim looks weird. Jim looks wired. That's the belt Bruce hits me with. Um, no, it's just they, they recast. Um, the guy who played him in the first one was the same guy who played Quincy Sharp and Amadeus Arkham. Um, I see Batman, Robin, or one of them other two cutters. I'm sticking a bullet between their eyes. So I'm trying to get rid of all the snipers. In this one, it's someone else. In the third one, it's the guy who plays Mike from Breaking Bad. And the prequel, they just cast somebody who sounds younger because it's set about. Uh, so they were like, everyone's younger! It's set like 10 years morning. earlier. If that. Like, Arkham Origins is set, like, eight years before the events of Asylum, so it's not that much earlier. Yeah. And yet they treat it like, it's young Batman! <laughs> so yet. Oh no, it's just more damn snow. I know he meant weird, but he does look wired. He's buzzing. It's a small head. Jim's small head. Okay, so I've got to get in that way. Man, don't dare show his face around here. Mm, quite a few thugs. Let's go take them down. Oh no, no, honestly, the, these are still worth it for the story. If anything, story mode is what makes these sing. Especially Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum. I think I think the chat would probably agree that Arkham Asylum is one of the most interesting things we've played on this channel. Arkham Asylum is just so... It's the tone, it's the atmosphere, it's so spooky. Spider-Man is an emotional roller coaster. Once you get the hang of the web swing and everything, it's smooth. But, um, yeah, Batman Arkham Asylum is still one of the finest things I've ever played. Just tonally, it's just so... Unnerving, like the croc sequence and the overwhelming, like the, the unraveling Understand. mystery. Arkham Asylum is beautiful. This killing joke, joke take place between Arkham and Arkham Asylum. Uh, these aren't set in the comics. Um, they use the comics for inspiration. Killing joke doesn't happen, but uh, Barbara does get shot by the Joker, and that takes place before Asylum. Um, and we see a flashback to those events. In Arkham Knight, because one of the one of the subplots in Arkham Origins is young Barbara Gordon, uh, uh, uh following her, her dad around and then starting to look out uh, at what Batman's doing and try and crack who his identity is. So presumably she becomes. I think based on the comics continuity, she becomes Barbara Gordon. Not uh, she becomes Batgirl not long after that. Um, and then she's Batgirl for about three three or four years before the Joker. Hurts her. But then the 
Well, I don't know what you're doing with the numbering there. I'm very confused. But then, um, uh, she, <laughs> there's a flashback mission, which is set like not too long for the events of Asylum. In Knights DLC, where Barbara is working alongside Tim's Robin, it's weird. It's bloody weird. Um, you forgot. No, in terms of the release order, it was Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, and then Arkham Knight. And Blackgate and Lockdown and all these other little mobile and portable spin offs came out. Hope oh, Harley sticks Hot to a good. So, where is the doorway? Oh, it's through there. Can I get through there without clearing the area, do you think? I was going to be like, clear the area first. Yeah, good. <laughs> hey, Richard! We're okay. We both overslept. Like crazy. Um, Lou's going to pop out and do a shot, mini shot for essentials. I'm here playing all of Harley Quinn's Revenge in one big chunk. One big chonky chunk. It shouldn't take us too long. Please. A couple of hours at most. So let's see. It's my ranking. Oh! No, uh, I think that Asylum is absolutely best. Someone Actually, no, help. Asylum's best. City second. And then I'm kind of... I'm tied on Asylum, on Origins and Night. Because Night is definitely the better gameplay, but my god, those tank sections drag it down. So much. Also, there's a couple story choices. No spoilers for Night in the chat. No spoilers for Night in the chat. But there's a couple story choices where I'm like... It kind of sucks that you've gone back to doing more of that when this promised something very different. Big Chungus. Um, no worries, Richard. Um, so the tank sections drag it down. Narratively, Night is not the best. Um, it thinks it's surprising, but it's really not. <laughs> that meant for Arkham Knight, he's fine. And um, Arkham Origins is a great script, a really good story, some of the best voice acting in the series. The cinematics are brilliant, but it's glitchy as sin. So for me, Origins and Knight are a joint third, personally. Anyway, we're back in here. Remember the pregnancy test? Please. Still saying positive. I thought in the DLC it changed, I can't remember. But look at this. Oh, right. Yeah, that was the original. She's taken a load since to say negative. She's obviously in mourning because she's stolen back Scarface and dressed him up as the Joker. Creepy. Please. So yeah, for those who are wondering, like, the positive pregnancy test, oh my god, what's going to happen? Yep, yeah, looks like it may have been a fluke. HQ's been out like a rabbit, clearly. Help. With who, though? That's the question. Um, Knight, obviously no spoilers, but I do feel... You stay around the same area a lot. In night. Yeah, there's a bit of that. There's one of the cops. Please. Yeah, well, we don't need to do this. Sure. We don't need to do this. Anyone but armed? No. Do you realize how hard it is being a henchman? Listening to orders Listen from a crazy this. person, following them without question. Yeah, you think I like being shouted at by that crazy woman? Exactly. Also, it's yeah, hard. Paul Dini Not hard um, sitting on didn't your ass write donuts. Arkham Knight that must we be wrote real hard. Asylum and City. That's and why we like to tell. unwind with a game. Like the, the works that you guys go, Oh, that works, let's do more of that! Oh, I love that character, let's do more with that character. And you're like, Pinyata time! Oh, God, no! Oh, Richard, don't worry. I want to see what you've Hopefully got this will change a little. And if it ain't candy, I'm Look out, get the man! Oh, it's nice to see those wavy blue lines again. Hey, gorgeous! We're in Harley Quinn's Revenge, because reasons. Paul Dini is an absolute bloody legend. He is. He's the best. Actually, oh my god, yeah, it arrived. Back in January. I'm not read it yet. I bought his novelization of Mad Love. Because a few Batman stories have been uh, adapted by some writers recently into novelizations. So obviously expanding on stuff. Um, and Paul Dini's is Mad Love. 
there's, a, an, there's an adaptation of the Killing Joke amongst them, I believe. I'm not sure what the other one is, but I wasn't fussed about the Killing Joke. I was like, I love the art of the Killing Joke, but it's a story I like less and less over time. Although, admittedly, there's some incredible dialogue in there. The artwork is astounding. Sometimes I've bought... Have you ever bought a graphic novel? Because you like the artwork and you're not fussed about the script. Because uh, that's me with All Star Batman and Robin. All Star Batman and Robin is garbage, but Jim Lee's artwork is beautiful. What are you for? Get me down. Sionis. Yeah, uh, Roman Sionis uh, is Black Mask in Birds of Prey. Uh, he's not in this. He We saw him at the start of the game. He, he was being beaten up by Tiger Guards when Bruce Wayne was being admitted. Uh, Roman Sionis um, is the Black Mask. This is his old plant. Which the Joker's taken over. Um, Sionis doesn't have any main story lines in the main trilogy of Arkham. Uh, though he, there is a side mission in this, in the challenge maps, where you can fight him and his goons on a train. Uh, but he is a big part of Arkham Origins, the prequel, which we're going to be playing nearer Christmas. Hall Long Halloween's a great starting point. Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale firing on all Come cylinders. On. Give me down! All right, where's the button? Uh, button, button. Who's got the button? <laughs> oh, meat. Take your time, dude. Oh, he's got pig scrolls on his back. That's creepy. You're safe. <laughs> Am I glad to see you? What happened? Where are the others? You were ambushed. They dragged us outside the still mill and beat the crap out of us. These bastards dragged off the others and brought me here. That's Troy I'll Baker, who Wait here. is the voice in this Hide. of. Mark Hamill reading the Joker's model from Killing Joke okay? was wonderful, yeah, especially because he does it on the fly. Um, uh, I, I didn't like... I'm talking about the Comic-Con reading. I didn't care for the... I, from what I've seen of the Killing Joke animated, I'm like, nah. The DC animated originals have been, as far as I'm concerned, awful for about ten years now. Like, really bad. There's some fun ones here and there. Um, but they're just, they just... They always miss the mark of what the... What the point of the original work was and what it was saying. It's really odd. And since Andrea Romano has stopped being the voice director for everything, um, there's no soul in the performances. And also the animated ones always keep casting people from like CW shows, not the DC shows, but CW shows like teen dramas, in roles. And they don't fit. It feels like they're there because they want to get some celeb voices in, and they just don't fit. It's odd. But I really like the two Adam West movies, uh, Return of the Cape Crusaders and Batman vs. Two-Face. They are great. Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is fun. It's not as good as the comic, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, it's that, this guy's voiced by Troy Baker, who you've heard in talk. this. No problem. I'll just be waiting here. <laughs> you've heard voicing uh, Two Face um, in this game. He's also voicing Tim Drake's Robin in this game. Um, he goes on in the next game to be canonically released, Arkham Origins, the prequel. He voices the Joker, a younger version of the Joker, and he's very good at it. And um, then he returns in Arkham Knight, voicing the Arkham Knight. Right. Do do do. It's the exit that way. Let's go. The idea of Batman voice changer the mask. Yeah, that that's that's not a bad one. But then you got like absolute ballers like Conroy just making him sound really intimidating and scary. That works too. Okay. Okay, so we just need to get out. All right. So let's get out. <laughs> Those who are just joining who are new, hi, how you doing? Oh. We're playing through Harley Quinn's Revenge. So, Arkham City has been condemned by this point. And yet there are still folks roaming around in it. So let's find out. His name is Chris and we're not and we're not Chris, just calls the Om Squad. No Om Gang. No Om Squad. Om Squad. Om Squad. 
Where's Minnie? Is she in here? Oh, Minnie's in here. Just snoozing. Then they're stupid. Yeah, well, I think they're trying to rustle up Arkham City. Uh, in Arkham Knight, again, when we eventually get around to it, you will see that Arkham City is still there. We can't access it anymore. No one's in it. It's been completely emptied and, and you can know see all the remains of one of the tower and stuff. Secret. Shut up, you idiot. What? No one's supposed to know about it, are they? Think about it. Do we have gang signs? No, but it's we all go, oh. Except for Dale, who goes numb. We best not be skipping Blackgate. We're not playing Blackgate. We're not playing Blackgate. It's god awful unless you're playing it on handheld. If you play it on handheld, it's a lot of fun. But to capture it, I have to play it on PS3, and good lord, not happening. <laughs> Limmy? Why'd you write Limmy? Oh, because there's a Limmy emote. All right. Quinn's thugs were talking about the missing cops. If they were here, they may have left some evidence. I thought my dog was called Limmy for a second. I was like, no. It's a wine road. The radio belonged to a cop. There may be evidence around here of where he was taken. I should set up a crime scene. What's here? Kilogram of steel? What a kilogram of feathers. That's right. Kilogram of steel. And it just keeps cutting back to them all going like, but they're both a kilogram. Steel. Steel's heavier than feathers. So good. This blood belonged to the cop. I should follow it and see where they took him. Where? Fingers crossed, Sam. We'll have enough subs and stuff to uh, unlock a new mode. We can add well to the roster. <laughs> so it's going up that way. Canine's a pipe dream if we get way more support down the line, maybe. Some kind of canine and mini hybrid, maybe. It's the bat! What's the bat doing here? I knew it. Oh, look, it's this place. I'm not doing the glide through it, good god. <laughs> Shut up, Vicky. <laughs> no, it's just Vicky's got a point. She wants to know what's going on. But of course, the GCPD are out now. Keep it as quiet as they can for now, because it's not an easy thing to explain. Oh. So, trail leads here. Do not Frankenstein your dog with a robot. Won't be f oh, God, that's creepy. It would be Frankenstein, and it'd be uh, Cyborg. K9 is a good boy. K9 is best boy. Yep, I think most. I'll be honest. If any chat already knew that respected Bell, it'd be this one. <laughs> this nerdy bunch would absolutely know that distinction. Oh shoot! Anyway, who's new? Drop us a follow. I'd appreciate it. You get to vote if you go to my Instagram on what game I get to play. Hey, Lou. Thank you for the host. That's my beautiful wife, folks. She's a beautiful lady. She's a beautiful lady and she likes to buy milk. to kick in. Hey! Favorite Jim Gordon piece of media? What? That is an oddly specific category. Uh, uh... I don't know. Like, my favorite Jim Gordon story, do you mean? Oh, which Frankenstein was it? Um... Uh, 
came from over here. Oh, the Cumberbatch one. Over here, I got. Oh. Oh. Me. I got oh. oh, version of the character. Uh, animated series. Batman the animated series. Such a good take. Is there another one? Have we missed someone? Oh my god, are you kidding me after all this? We could have just avoided this area! What are we doing in here? Guarding the stupid switch. Man, I thought this place was a secret. Who would have come in here anyway? Batman. Green aliens or purple aliens? What? Yeah, right. Ain't this thing supposed to be impossible to crack? And anyway, I heard that since Joker died, he's I'm so been lost seen. on what is happening. Figure he's feeling all guilty. Do you think Batman? He's here. I'll deal with you in a second, friendo. So this is the Harley Informant. Now, if we hadn't been playing New Game Plus and I had Riddler stuff left to do, we'd have been doing this to every other thug and every other gang. Tell me how to get through that door. And don't waste time lying. I'll... Nice, Richard. Hey, Shane, thank you for the house. The Harley gave code cards to the people she trusts most. You need three codes to get in. Please, I'll tell you where they are. Just, just don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me. He's gonna punch him out. I'll do my best. And then he... Richard, thank you for the house. Oh, right, okay. I, I did not know that. Sorry. Okay, so we need to go to... Interrogate people... Although, surely, we have Without the, the codes, Nani. I can't save the cops. Hey, the grass always green on the other side. Me, Holly should just go get herself some help. Give up on this revenge kick she's on. Love that. He's a sniper in the moment you leave at him. He's like, ah, Don't do it! It's like, yeah, smart decision. I'm a goddamn Batman, son. So, we have a Riddler Informant, a Riddler Informant, in this case, Harley Informant, up there. So we've got four of them, they're all snipers. We just get this done and get the hell out of Arkham City. The one with the code. I can't afford to take him out until he gives it to me. Nice way till little Jimmy comes this over way. it. Right, freeze ya. Brilliant, which means you're unfrozen. If the grapple flaming work like it's meant to. <laughs> hey! Table's on its way! Bye, you heading off, respect to Bell. The code. Oh, he's saying bye Give to the thug. It, or get ready to hurt. <laughs> Table height! Here it is! Please! I don't want any trouble! Too late. Under roof of the table height. This is the table that doubles as a vacuum, code. folks. True story. I need two. Right. So there's another one on the far end. We'll go for him first. Damn. Rebecca's computer stopped being a git. Arms for Rebecca's say. computer, folks. I know Batman killed the Joker. I just know it. Right, so that's him there, and he's got at least two snipers on him. So we need to get rid of the snipers. Oh, you have to play GTA. No worries, have a good time, my friend. See if you can interface the computer, that's a good boy. 
Affirmative. Unless it's season 17. Affirmative. Alright, don't be getting on at me. <laughs> oh, still here. Still freezing my ass off. Right. Give me the code. code. Yeah, yeah, no problem. See, I'm doing what you wanted. There was never any doubt in my mind. <laughs> you okay? Oh, bloody hell. The dog's leaving traps for Lucy to trip over. Twin security system. Devious doggy. You sure you're okay, we boo? Just get this done and get the hell out of Arkham City. I'm freezing here. There he is in the alley. So we deal with this quietly. How cold does it have to be before someone thinks to give us cold? Hello, Josh. I did the takedown move on the informant. Oh, I targeted it at the guy in the bottom left corner of the screen. And he went for the guy in the top. Death screen? Death screen. You're gonna pay for letting Mr. J die. This is. We're playing Harley Quinn's Revenge. Spoiler alert for the main storyline of Arkham City. <laughs> Got this urge to make cinnamon rolls, but never made them. Well, maybe now's the time, Richard. Maybe now's the damn time. Don't tell me we've got to do all three again. Just him, thank God. That's no fun. Uh, yep, all side missions done. Uh, we didn't we didn't finish the political prisoners one because obviously it's randomly generated and trying to get this whole thing done. Kill you, fat freak. No, him. Freeze him. God. No worries. Get that there, lunch. What? Right, what is going on with this targeting? Yes, one moment, my dude. Hello? <gasps> it's Lutu! It's Lutu! Or Lysi, as I believe you're called now. You Lysi? Yeah. Hi, Lysi! Okay. Oh, what are you getting? What are you grabbing? Many things. Oh. <laughs> you're gonna be alright. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Lucy, everybody! Lucy in the Flush. Uh, this is Lucy in the Flush. Lucy in the Flash with. Oh, she's died. Wait, no. People aren't officially dead unless the tongue's sticking out. Oh, no! <laughs> that was adorable. I was like, ah. Mrs. But. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. I love you. Bye. Love you. Text me, keep me posted. Just in case you're having an issue. Uh. <laughs> Love you. Oh, meats! There we go. <laughs> have we recovered from T Gate? Both of us, I think we have. The Lucy's code. fine, she was calm as anyway. Now. Please don't hurt me. Here it is. Here it night, is. Night. <laughs> T Gate Prison. Next stop is Park. Oof. She smells amazing. <laughs>
we go. Find the urge to go back to bed. Don't blame me at this point. Aha! Oh, this city! City of Mad Love. That's not bad. Wait, do you have to do the riddle on New Game Plus? Uh, if you've already finished the riddle, which I had, no, but you still do, you still deal with his hostages and then take him down. Yep, I do, diddly do. Because he's still part of the story and, you know, you've got the chapel and all that stuff. But, uh, you, you just chill out, man. Man. So We're safe. No one Which meant that we could do a full story play for It's a nice. secret base, right? What about Batman? What a kid he hangs out with. They're keeping a low profile since he killed Jay. Come on, Batman didn't kill Joker. That crap he injected himself with at the asylum killed him. Mm. You saw what he looked like. Not how I heard it. Then you heard wrong. Well, I heard it from Holly. She should know. She was there. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. I was outside the theater with her. Batman just came out carrying Jay. Really? The thing I don't get is Clayface. How did Joker pull that switcheroo on the bat? I guess sometimes you don't see what's right under your nose. I just had a thought. What if it was Clayface that Batman carried out? Now you're just embarrassing yourself. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Think this is TV or something? It's Batman! What? Bye. Bye! Stay safe! I love you! It was a damn fine twist. Damn fine. Oh, that's twisty. That is very twisty. I love how I tried to do the shield disarm maneuver and then did it to random man number 75. <laughs> oh, that is twisty. That is very twisty. It's weird to have the wavy lines back. Was there a Batman game on Wii where you had electric arms? Haha! <laughs> uh, yes, there is. I can't remember where it is. But somewhere. Oh, that was it. In Arkham Origins, uh, you uh, you face off against. Well, you barely face off against him. A Batman. A low, low tier DC villain called the Electrocutioner. And you take his shot gauntlet technology and you put it into your fist. So there's a move in Arkham Origins where you like you charge it up and you click both the joysticks and your fists become like electrified and you should beat the crap out of everybody in a combo. It lasts a, a short while, but it's basically like it's a it's a it it it's it's a difficulty killer. And once you've got them on, you're dealing out so much damage and it's it was like oh this is fun, but then when you realise you could use it in regular fights, you're like oh this kind of it kind of takes the fun out of like trying to think tactically because obviously in Arkham Origins it's a younger Batman so not all of these gadgets are at your disposal a good chunk of them are but that's an extra one that's in that game when they released Arkham City on the Wii U they because um, obviously the technology is slightly different the Wii U is kind of graphically and, and certain, in terms of certain reactionary stuff behind the PS3 and uh, Xbox 360 generation a little bit with like reaction time and things like that or something like that. Um, they added the shock fists from the start as like, a, hey, here's a little boost for fights. So the Wii U edition, you have like shock fists on Arkham City. Uh, it's also the only Arkham game to get a Wii U release. I think it's the only Arkham game to get a Nintendo release, actually. And it had all the Catwoman stuff in it. I don't know if it had any Harley Quinn's Revenge in it. Oranges. Arkham Oranges, like I said, it's an excellent story. It's a really good, uh, beautiful voice acting. The cinematography and the, the cinematics are incredible, but it's just... It's, it's glitchy. It is very, 
very glitchy. I'm trying to remember if up here is a trophy related thing or not. I think it's trophy related, so obviously I've got the river trophies and stuff, so it's not there. Yeah, it must have been a trophy related thing because I think using that smashes into the wall. Oranges for me. Oranges. Oranges! The plural of oranges is weirdly difficult to say. Oranges! Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, ew, ew. Big old spats. Ew, ew, ew. <coughs> Type your stream, cheer up, Harley. Yeah, it's a Charlie with a Chocolate Factory reference. Well spotted. Cheer up, Harley. Comforted she is by all these mannequins with creepy CCTV on them being scattered around the place. It comforts her. Six hostiles detected. All six armed. Shoot. Okay. There we go. That's not comforting. Be grateful they're not autons. Well, if you saw Arkham Asylum, do you remember this site, the visitor center? Where the dummies were moving? Now, don't get me wrong. I can't guarantee you'll stay that way. I mean, look around. If I don't kill what you, the? one of my friends shoot. There you are, Matt. Get over here. Okay, that's an ultimate fail, and I'm not gonna recover from it. <laughs> Cadmus Lab, Superman reference. Very likely, yes. Very, very likely. They fill a lot of them, uh, they fill the, the scenery with a lot of references to all the DC stuff that you heard at the end. Um, Keystone and Metropolis were cities that uh, Strange was going to uh, set up uh, prisoner camps in to continue Rachel Gould's work. They were going to be the next places. Let's face it, he would have had a. Actually, no, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have. It wouldn't have been hard to make it difficult for Superman to deal with because, of course, it's the politics of it all. Like. The whole idea was it was kept to a point where everyone was sort of like, yeah, this is for the best. And it's like, oh god, people don't would fight lie, against it. Man. Obviously, if it, the world lie, domination man. side of it all started, no, Superman would absolutely have dealt with it. I can't guarantee you'll stay that way. I mean, look around. If I don't kill you, one of my friends up there will. <laughs> um, but yeah, Arkham Knight has got way more references. What are you streaming tomorrow? We are finishing this today for sure, Josh. Tomorrow is Star Wars Day, so I'm going to stream a Star Wars thing tomorrow for the day. Uh, and there'll be a vote up on my Instagram tonight for what the next bits you and blow what the next game will be. Time. Oh, come on. It can't be a surprise. I mean, look. I'm one of the bad guys, right? You're one of the... What? Oh, shoot. Drop a pellet, Batman. What are you doing? Tomorrow will be a little Star Wars treat of some kind. Here's the plan. Spread out. Find this son of a bitch. Got it. Hmm. I'm a Star War. A Star War. Hey, Swat, thank you for the host. I think we're just gonna have to. I think we're just gonna have to 
die here and see a death screen. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna see a death screen. It's gonna happen. Hey, man. What happened there? How the hell did we... How the hell did we manage this? <laughs> Someone's just told Lucy she has designer hair, apparently. I'm a Star Warrior. Wah! Wah! Right up here, Batman. I can see that. Officer You're safe. Bindle Hops. I don't think so, bad brain. It's dead cop time. Oh dear. Does it hurt? Too bad. Come on, boy. I like her morning outfit. Like, it's just the same one, but she's added, like, feathery bits to it. She's wearing a little, tiny little veil. What's it doing? It's gone dark. I have a Harlequin's Revenge figure up there, actually. There's the Harlequin's Revenge version. Aha. Come on. Don't piss off Harley. Looks like Mrs. The Crow. <laughs> okay, so back to Tim. It's two days later. Tim, what's going on? Have you found him? Uh, kinda. What does that mean? Don't worry, I think I'm close. I'll let you know. Save Batman from Harley Quinn. Five minutes with the bat. That's all I need. Payback for Joker. He's just up there, right? What's stopping you? Nothing. I guess. Then do it. March in that room, climb up and teach Batman a lesson. We'll watch. Hey, I'll help you get up there. No, I can wait. Honey's got a plan. Don't want to get in the way, do I? Is it hard being a little... Oh, he's here! Your mother will recognize you when I'm done. Oh. Oh, I didn't get on him. As you can see, his grapple doesn't pull people toward him. It pulls him toward them. Hey. I don't hate the look of Robin and Arkham Knight, but yeah, the, the, Arkham, see, the problem with Arkham Knight versus Arkham Asylum and Arkham City design-wise is that Arkham Asylum is stylized, like it's very comic book. Um, uh, we don't get Grayson in the story, uh, Nightwing is in the DLC, but Nightwing and Tim Drake, uh, Robin, appear in Arkham Knight. Uh, in constant side missions, so they're in it a lot, and you fight with them, and you switch between the characters and stuff. Um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City have a stylized comic book look. Arkham Origins has a stylized comic book look. Arkham Knight goes for realistic, which is impressive in a couple of ways because they managed to pull off some of the characters. Oh god, they managed to pull off some of the characters that we've already seen, still looking like how we saw them, but. Um, you know, fitting in. But then other characters get a complete redesign. Like, Poison Ivy looks like a real human woman in Arkham Knight. Um, Catwoman looks like a real human woman in Arkham Knight. Batman looks like a real man in Arkham Knight wearing body armor because realism. Um, but then other characters still look wonderfully comic book and grotesque. Like, Professor... And, um... And characters like that. Uh, Court of Owls don't appear in it, but there are hints of them. Sorry, one sec.
for a sec. For Sorry, lose using my login for the um, the scan and go thing at uh, our local Asda, so she doesn't have to, you know, touch trolley and, and hang around in the queues. It must be busy. Um, the Court of Owls hints. Terry McGuinness game. It was always rumored. It was never confirmed. Never take any of the rumored Arkham games or Arkham spin-offs as solid ever. Because so much of them were stirred up on the internet. Uh, I got I debunked one on Big Damn. And we got challenged by fans who loved the theory. Arkham Insurgency. Which was going to be like another prequel following Origins. Uh, got debunked. Because I spoke to uh, Roger Craig Smith. Who played Batman in the prequel. About it. And he went yeah it's not. That's not a thing. So we made a video on it on Big Damn's channel. And people were like, no, shut up, it's definitely real. It's like, there is the voice actor for Batman who you have claimed is recording lines for this game telling me he's not recording lines for this game. And here we are, like, four years later and Arkham Insurgency doesn't exist. So never take any of them as solid. They might have workshopped stuff and a Batman begin a Batman Begins, a Batman Beyond game with Terry McGuinness in this style would be very cool, but never, you know, never take it as written. Um, oh, one of the rumours is a new Batman game be Court of Owls. No, point, pointless. Pointless. The, the thing is, Warner are lazy enough that they would just give Warner Montreal, who made Arkham Origins and all the DLC for Night, and did these remasters, they'd just give them the keys to the Arkham Kingdom and be like, right, make more Arkham stuff. But that'd be lazy. Like, Rocksteady made their mark, they told the trilogy, there's a prequel, there's some handheld spin offs. Call it a day on the Arkham series. Do something new with Batman in the future. Um. Oracle, how do I open this jar of peanut butter? Yeah, true, but like, then we're not going to see it for years and the brand recognition will have died down. I'd rather Warner's focus on Warner, Warner focus on making a superhero open world game for a different character. We've already said if they could finally nail flying as a smooth mechanic that didn't feel like clunky, Superman would be ideal. But at the same time, um, you know, something like Green Arrow... Uh, like a Green Arrow Black Canary game would be fun, you know. Um, now is the time if you're ever going to do it to do a Wonder Woman game. Uh, but anyway, I just, enough speculation. Let's fight this thing. I found it. Oh God. Thank God. Is he okay? Too dark for a Plane's game. Plane's got him trapped. Well, him Shazam game would be awesome. Harley's Shazam built some kind of monument to the Joker, and it's stopping me from getting to Batman. And they don't all have to be open world like Spider-Man. They this could place, be linear, she's like, than Night, like linear storytelling. I'm gonna search the area and try oh, to no, work out how to save sorry. him. There was a game in recently where the city's health was the player's health bar and super had to save the city. Oh, what was that? If they don't do Arkham, they want to do Batman. Do you think they should do a Batman game? I, I think they shouldn't hurry. I think someone should figure out a Batman game. But the best way to do it is do what Telltale did and be like, right, we're going to tell, do a Batman game in our storytelling style. Do it in a different genre. Yeah, there's no point doing more Batman when the Spider-Man sequel is now the one who can reinvent the wheel. Um... I think it shits on the legacy of these Damn games it. if you just keep making Arkham trapped games. in that thing. Looks like he's entered some sort of meditative state. I don't have much time. He's running out of air. Oh god, so Batman's like gone into a uh, Harley's built some a kind of monument to the Joker and it's stopping survive. him from getting to Batman. Wonder Woman game would be excellent. It was this. You can't link stuff in here, I'm afraid, my dear. So you have to describe what you're saying. When my Joker returns, we will all be happy. Oh. Undefeated on Steam. Ah. That's cool. So the city has to be kept safe for the superhero to succeed. That's a great idea. And the security panel appears to control the statue. Batman will die in there if I don't find the key. I guess I should go find Harley Quinn and ask her In for Joker's it. balls. Joker's big balls here. <laughs> Found anything? Nah, it's just Sorry, full of Harley. crap. The rest of this place. Interrupted Harley there. Crap. He's here. Wait. Get back in. Get back in, lad. He knows we're here. 
shiitake mushrooms. It was Marvel Spider-Man, but Sony like commissioned it, and it's a PlayStation exclusive. Arm pull off boy. <laughs> Justice League game, if it was linear, maybe, but we'll see. Because the Avengers game that's being worked on doesn't look good. Like it looks interesting, but all playtest speculation from conventions and everything so far has been like, yeah, this is a bit. Hmm. Um. So Justice League game maybe, but I think the way to do it would be a co-op game, but then again, co-op games aren't as... The best way to do it would be, like, Marvel Ultimate Alliance for the PS3 generation. You know? Um, where you could have you could play as one person, cycling between four characters, or you could have up to four players. Uh, so you have four characters on screen at any one time, it's almost top-down, you're fighting multiple enemies, and it's a team-up game. You could absolutely do it like that. The Avenger game's not too late, it's just... oddly timed. Who the hell is this fool? Spider-Man game was first party, so I doubt it. Spider-Man was brilliant. MC was peaked. Probably, but it depends on how they tell stories going forward. Anyway, the Avengers game isn't MCU. Sorry guys, go come straight. Not that kind of co-op game. <laughs> so he's just gonna use a sniper in close-up combat. Strange man. Mind you, it would be a high caliber um, weapon, so he'd definitely kill me. It'd just be clunky to operate in close-up combat. It's more, it's too late for those Avengers. You can pick who you want to be with. Uh, they'd never do a crossover game, ever. So we're now we're in some of the Thor game, we just say the world of power being shirtless. Ha! <laughs> well, here's the thing. Um, I've recently been tempted to find second-hand or cheap copies because you can't download them of Captain America, Super Soldier, and um, was it? Is it called the Mighty Thor? Which were the two game tie-ins for PS3 for Thor and Captain America: First Avenger, which by all accounts weren't brilliant. But I have, I know, maybe not Thor, but I read um, fun stuff about Captain America. They basically said like. It's a bit Arkham, it's kind of low-key, see how you feel. So I'd absolutely get it, play it on easy, and just see how it feels. Now this is tough, guys, so we're going to have to concentrate here. This is essentially the first boss fight, as it were, of this game. Definitely arms for me. This is. He was Mr. J, right? This he is the boss fight. What to do. I'm just here alone, relying on you, idiots. So don't fail me. What was that? <laughs> I like the two-faced boss fight. We can't really do it. I lost him. Find him now. Easily. <laughs> oh, you think you can hide up there? Think again. Or now. As you can see, they start taking down our strategic points. Arms for Robin! Thanks, Dale.
Right. No! Get back down there! Okay, we need to get out, 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 we need to get out. Oof. As you can see, it's quite tough. Rombin! So, one, two, three there, including Harley. One down there. Is it just four hostiles? Damn rocket launcher. Damn it, Robin! Doing those tents? Because I'm pretty flipping tense. Thank you for all the big damn love, Ian! Where the hell are you? I love that the thugs are currently voiced by Nolan North. You can tell because they all sound like Drake. He didn't do his thing. He didn't do the thing I asked him to do. God damn it. It's alright, we yeeted someone off the side. Woof! Where's Harley? Is she still around? Did we knock her out? We knocked out Harley, so we've just got to take out two remaining thugs. Harley's unconscious. Oh god. Take down the hostage taker without being spotted. Get away from me. Oh god. That's true, you can actually. Um There we go. First time. Last time I played this, that took a lot longer. <laughs>
course it was between her boobs. Of course it was. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> uh, I feel dizzy. Good. You're a super criminal. Uh, right. Bird brain. Half bird, half brain. What's dead ahead? Nothing. Okay. Just decorative. That's true, actually. Every single female character's done that, haven't they? They hit something in their cleaver. Well, look who it is. Little Robin, come back to play. You ready for us to kick your ass, little bird? It's Robin! And here he is, boys and girls, the Titan! If I could snap flush the Titan, please. Without you idiots getting in the way. You're gonna die, freak. You're gonna die here. God, here we go. Ugh! Oms out, guys. Oms are popping. This won't take long. No. Titan Jeff Bob, not Red Shirt Jackson. I mean, these guys literally are Red Shirts. Press F to pay your respects for Red Shirt Jackson. <laughs> Out of the way, Robin! Thank you. 
What happened to the cops? Never mind. <laughs> I guess not. You don't need to worry about them, bat brain. They'll be dead soon. Oh, and so will you. You save the cops. I'll handle I'll the bombs. Handle the bombs. Workings of this bomb look familiar. I need to shut it down, then examine it. <laughs> I knew it. The bombs have been built using explosives stolen from the GCPD lockup last week. Harley Quinn hasn't changed the detonation frequency. I'll calibrate the cowl to locate any other objects tuned into this frequency. So we're on a timer. What's the best Seems to have told the thugs that exactly they're gonna get blown up. They don't care because they're idiots. Hey, dude, you're gonna get killed by a bomb that your boss has set up with little regard for your safety. So where's this bomb then? That's true, if they cared they would have a better career. Way. Joker Shrine Roots have come that way. So behind us. What are you gonna do, Ben? Way, so this way. How are we doing? On back up. Thank you. Whew. Oh, now I remember. Okay. Ready? Who's still here, Om Squad? It's a dead goon in here. Oh, oh, oh.
turn to the shrine and stop Harley Quinn. Showing hallucinations of Joker. Wouldn't that be a concept? Just these giant Joker body parts lying around. So creepy. No, it's the big old robot one. Oh, here they are! <laughs> and you can't disarm Harley. <laughs> Yeah, these are the Wonder City ones. I'm pretty sure there's a challenge map where you fight them, but I might be hallucinating. <laughs> and they're not setting off my counter, are they? It's like New Game Plus all over again. Oh god. Wonder City! City of None! City of No, thank you! So beefy, her entire foot fitness. Yeah. with you. Death of the Joker, he's feeling some complicated feelings. Holy shoot! Harley Quinn's Revenge! In an hour and 40 minutes! <laughs> ta da! Ooh, ta da! What a treat! <laughs> Brucey, indeed! I, I'll be honest, I did not expect us to do it in less than two hours. Um, we'll have a look at some of the challenge maps, shall we? So we can see some Nightwing. But, 
Bloody hell. Harley Quinn's Warenge. Keep in mind, uh, there's a couple of little bonusy things, sprucey bonusy things to do normally during this, which I've already done. So, in Harley Quinn's Revenge, you can get trophies. Um, zip kick five different thugs. Shield bash five different thugs. Snap flash an unarmed thug, an armed thug, an environmental object, and a titan thug. Defuse all bombs in three minutes or less. Use five different quickfire gadgets in one fight as Robin. And destroy all of Harley's balloons, which we didn't see because I'd already done them. They're hidden all over the environment. Um... How's it hanging? Clean up the dry docks. Oh yeah, that's, you'd get that for defeating Harley. So, you know, there, there were things we could have done, but because I've already done them. I can't remember if there is any extra stuff here. Let's have a little listen, just in case. Apart from that, that's all the narrative of Arkham City done. For those who've watched the whole stream and this was like the first time, what did you think of Arkham City? The sequel to Arkham Asylum. Uh, did it live up to Arkham Asylum? Did it feel like a weaker experience, lesser experience, a funnier experience? I really liked it. What did you like about it? What did you like? What characters were you happy to see again? What characters were you delighted to see for the first time? Like, what was your what was your bag, Daddy-O? Definitely lived up to it. Yeah, it's the thing is with Arkham City. I think Arkham Asylum is the best experience out of all the games because it's just so concise. It's got a brilliantly creepy atmosphere. It's its own thing. And then um, Arkham Arkham City perfects the uh, the combat style. Uh, really makes that sort of stuff work. Um, you know, like that stuff is absolutely nailed. Uh, but I think Arkham Asylum is still the better overall experience. Arkham Knight is pretty great, but it's it's a different kind of thing. And it, it gets massively hampered by a certain amount of tank sections and some weird narrative choices that make you go, really? Stuff that if you're comic book fans, you'd be like, why that? You know, things like that. Um, because Asylum's tight as a story, but City definitely gives more villains more room to do things. Yeah, because, you know, Batman's world is Gotham City. I guess there's no extras here. It's just running silently. They didn't even put music on it. Um, Arkham Knight, of course, you get Gotham to play in. So in Arkham Knight, there's even more in terms of like villains and, and things to deal with. Took me back to when I played Arkham City. Arkham City, and I see an expert at work. Hardly an expert, Simon, but thank you very much. Um, so let's have a little look at some of the characters we encountered in the DLC. Yeah, they're all down here. So, DLC characters. Batman Incorporated Batsuit. When did we unlock that one? I've been using that in the challenge maps. Batman Incorporated. Um, yes, the new trophies. Harley Titan Thug. Like, considering it killed Mr. J, and she's still like, let's use it! Let's use it on people. It's like, why would you do that? Harley's uh, version of the Joker thugs. I love their design. I think they look great. Proper great. So cool. Is that a bat signal in the sky? Oh, my eyes deceiving me. My eyes deceiving me. <laughs> um. Of course, morning Harley. Did she use that mallet? I don't think she did. But that's the mallet from. Uh, I've got a toy of it over there. That's the, uh, the one that Hammer uses from the uh, Abramovichy twins. Look at her, she is pissed. Like, her morning outfit is amazing. It's such a great, like, subtle design change from the main one. Like, it's just taken this one and turned it into a funeral outfit. Smirk! Now! Since we finished that story a little earlier than I thought, let us play a little game. That game 
sweet ladies of Plymouth. Um, is the challenge maps. This is Riddler's Revenge. Riddler's Revenge allows you to just do a series of combat challenges as one of these four characters. Uh, wearing the different costumes as well. So. Ooh. Hey, um, I think what we're going to do, because we've not played with our dick, let's do Nightwing. Oh, either lose home or a cat is climbing or something. One sec. Lou, is that you? Those are some ominous noises. Um, I don't have anyone to play with. I don't have one to play with. Well, you do now. <laughs> Uh, looks like she's seen someone put the milk in first. Harley, yeah. Oh, Boo, is that you? Hello? Bet she got red for. She's on the phone, that's why she didn't say anything, so it just sounded like a burglar broke in. Anyway! <laughs> Let's uh, let's play as Dick and let's play ranked challenges. Specifically, it's a little story one. Freight train. This is a black mask challenge pack. Um, and let me remind myself of Dick's moves. It's fun trying to let me read what you're saying. So for those who don't know, this is Dick Grayson, the first Robin. He's now Nightwing. He operates uh, as a crime fighter in Bloodhaven. Um. <laughs> so, quickfire wing ding, which is basically a batarang. Crouch, grapple. Uh, counter, stun, strike, run, double tap to evade. What are our gadget shortcuts? Quickfire electrical blast. Back claw. Stick ricochet and a quick fire dart. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So, Black Mask is at the end of the train. <laughs> Joke's on you. His mom's not around because of a horrible mom incident. Yeah, it's very side scroller this one. Do they have their own separate ones? Separate gadgets and stuff? Yes. Yeah. This will be easy to break. Everybody? Yes. <laughs> if you want to see where everyone is, I'll look at the bugs on the train. Detective mode, kind of. Specific lines of dialogue. You sent me to Blackgate. Hey, you back to. Oh, I thought the guy was still up. <laughs> I 
And now the final round. We're gonna rip you apart. Oh look, it's a Bromovici! Specifically Hammerboy. And Black Mask! The guy in the natty suit and tie is Black Mask. I'll tear up your <laughs> I will crush every bone in your body. Oh, we nearly took Black Mask out. Well, this guy did flaming letters. I will crush every bone in your body. Oh. God damn it, Dick. Oh yeah, to defeat Black Mask, you've got to be beat down. And there's a bomb, apparently. Do you have any SH figure arts figures? Uh yes, I've got one. I've got a uh I think I think she's the SH figure arts figure. Let me check, because they're similar to Bandai, aren't they? Um my SH figure arts figure is Oh no, yeah. No, I have a Bandai Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. But my SH figure arts figure is you can see him there with his legs flailing, Iron Spidey from Infinity War. It's the only SH figure arts one I've got. Uh, I wanted the Thanos from Infinity War as well, but yeah, I changed my mind. And in the end, got the cheaper Disney Select one, which is a nice big chunky boy. So that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. We were just off of uh, getting two watts it. That was annoying. Uh, do you want to see how the other characters fare in a challenge or two? Like, for example... Oh. Mm, how does Dick do in the Wayne Manor Armory? This is like a... A figurative scenario of what the Tiger Guards invaded Wayne Manor to take Bruce in. So again, he looks like Chucky though with that hair. Stick ricochet, okay. Y'all been waiting on Dick, and y'all getting it. Stick a shay. <laughs> stick a shan. Shan, shan, or stick a shan. I can't believe how fast we finished the DLC. <laughs> you know why? It's because we got it first try. We only got the death screen like once, didn't we? That was because we messed up the interrogation moment. How does Dick AK Nightwing look younger than Tim Drake? Uh, weird, isn't it? It's because they're giving him more boyish hair. He has a he has a redesign in the next game. His he's little arm is a lot more plated, like everybody's is, and uh, he has like a gambit style kind of bandana that keeps his hair out of his eyes. Good jeans, yeah.
Somebody just got hit by a sleepy dart. Good jeans, the best jeans. He only gets the best jeans. That sidekick sandwich. <laughs> We're doing alright here, aren't we? A uh, Wayne Manor, uh, like Predator map, a uh, challenge in Arkham Knight, which is really cool because it's the first time you kind of get to see Wayne Manor. Like, obviously, here we've seen a bit of it. In a room sort of inspired by the King of the Wicker people we've seen in uh, Battle 99. Oh, we've run out of darts! I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh guys. Uh no, there's just a lot of them. Uh, anything nice planned considering what world universe we're living in the moment for Sunday afternoon and evening? Uh, we're mostly just going to chill me and Lou. We're going to look at wrapping some of the charity bears uh, that need sending out still. Um, might watch a film. We need to finish uh, Nightmare of Eden, Doctor Who, and then we're going to move on to Horns of Nymon. We've decided the way we're going to do it for the Doctor Who review is we're going to watch Horns of Nymon and we're going to do that as the season 17 review. And then we're going to watch both DVD versions of Sharda and do Sharda as a bonus video. And then we'll move on to season 18. <laughs> Apart from that bit of chilling, a bit of housework. Oh my god, if we get bonuses, we might actually surpass 60. No! But so close, right? So bloody close to getting 60, which would have got us three points. Damn. What a good round. Wayne Manor Main Hall, that's a predator one. That's tough. It's a back cave predator task. That's tough. Tough. That's tough, who's that? This is one way you just have to keep going until you die. This is Joker's Carnival. And play this again as Nightwing. This one's a toughie. Because basically, you just keep going until you die, and the more combo you rack up, the more time it awards who's you. Who's in the soon to be dead to corner tonight? So fill the meter by fighting enemies, then bank up at any time to collect the points you built up and raise your score. As the meter rises higher, the rewards are greater, but so are the risks. Earn the highest score you can before the time runs out. So this ends when you die. Nightwing! Well, I was hoping for the big guy, but I guess you'll do. And Let's Joker see how is they here. get on! Over there, They're can you see him? You. Let's go say hi. Hey, Joker. I'm gonna mess up the pretty face, Nightwing. 
Every time you get hit, your uh, what are you trying to do down there? Your rank rewards meter goes Ready down. Well, you don't worry. He doesn't actually die because it's just—it's not a story. It's just a daft little challenge. It's, it's uh, this is basically an arcade game. Sleep <laughs> Ooh, level two. Oh. This is getting exciting. Your mother won't recognize you when we're finished with you. All right, Nathan Drake. Try and keep away from the fists. Try and keep away from the fists. Look at the Joker having a giddy little dancer with that top corner. Because Nightwing is absolutely storming this! Oh, sorry, no, it doesn't run out until he dies. What am I talking about? There are other challenges like that, but not this one. No, in this one, the timer just runs out. Sorry, I got that confused. As you can see, he's doing alright. Keep away from the fist, boy! Points for a forget. Ooh. Dick's doing okay, isn't he? Oh my god. Go easy on them. Oh my god. Hey, take it easy on him. Oh, shock stick guy. Ha! <laughs> That's a good flip on the knife, dude. I'm afraid you guys, you the guys dressed as a clown, palling it with the most dangerous person in all of Gotham, and thinking that you're going to make it out alive. Yeah, no, there's, there's a penguin room challenge where it goes on till you die, basically. This one is the, uh, just goes on till the time runs out. Cheer 100, awesome stream so far. Oh, thank you very much! Does someone need a doctor down there? Arkham City is gonna burn. Did Not we get two coins? Boys. It's like you didn't even try to hurt <laughs> it. Fifty-three thou. New personal best. Yes, now. Good one, Nightwing. <laughs> Before we go, let's pay one more visit to uh, to Batman, as he is the OG. And let's, uh, let's, because we've got some DC Animated Universe fans in here, there's a Batman Beyond style costume. No cape. Butts out. Let's do the Joker Funhouse Challenge. Butts out for the lads. Oh, it's got a, we looked at it the other day, didn't we? It's got a weirdly, no, it was Nightwing had a weirdly flat butt in the statue mode. And it was like, Who's so brave enough to AS. come here and pick a fight? <laughs> it's the bat himself. Give it's him Bruce a big in a Batman Beyond costume. Oh, we it's a mystery. You've got a big scene to Batman Beyond. <laughs> no! I love it when you do the stun and the Ready cape does appear. More? It's got the red lining. Oh, 
Boo! Level two! Go easy He's calling on it like bingo. Oh, boo! It's level two. We are gonna hurt you! Oh no! I lost all the points I ran to. Bombs are popping. Keep away from the fists, boys. You're gonna die today. Oh, oh God. That looked like it's hell. Oh, you're gonna die, Batman. Batman gets higher danger thugs because his gadget variation is higher than the uh, the DLC characters like Captain Nightwing and Robin. So this challenge is harder for Batman in terms of the characters they're throwing. Because they're like, well, you've got more gadgets. Surely you can deal with it. He's like, oh. Also, he's physically the strongest of the four. Oh, God. Take it easy on it! Oh god. Ever played Res- uh, R6S? What's that? Rainbow Six Siege? No, I'm not really fussed in my FPSs, I'm afraid. The only one I've ever like played all the way through story mode and played a lot of was Black Ops. Are you getting too much blood in your eyes? That's why I enjoy Overwatch, just so like superheroes meets first person shooter. What are you trying to do down there? Put them in hospital? Yes! Does someone need a doctor down there? Oh. Gonna die. Try and keep away from the fists! Gonna... Oh god, here we go. Oh, well. Not happy, boys. It's like you didn't even try to hurt it. <laughs> Thanks, Joker. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I think we've played a lot of Arkham uh, City on this here stream hell of a lot. Um, now that is a suit. Well, a variation of the Batman Begins suit appears in Arkham Knight, but it's, it's a lot more tech based. Um, give me a basic Arkham City screen. There we go. Um, we had a damn good time playing this game. Thank you to everybody who voted for it on Instagram. Search me up. Official CDJ, check my story. From tonight, you'll have an option to vote for another game. Uh, either one we're going to complete or one we're just going to play for like a week or so. Hey, nice one, Dale. Perfect timing. Go get that table. Much love. Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you for thank you for watching it, Swad. Um, if you're watching this but you're not already following, please do drop us a follow. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, uh, I'm not going. I'm going. I'm. Um, this is the end of the stream for now. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. as it's Star Wars Day. We'll have a Star Wars shaped treat tomorrow. Oh, fair enough. 
Uh, hey, thank you for the cheers, Tom. Thank you very much. We'll have a Star Wars shaped treat tomorrow. But from tonight, you'll be able to vote for what game I play next. It's going to be something lighter and fluffier. Arkham Knight won't be an option yet because, ladies and gentlemen, we've been in Batman's world for quite a while. As much as we're enjoying it, it could be frustrating if we were just Arkham. Plus, newcomers to the channel will be like, you're the Arkham guy, right? It's like, nope. Um, so, yeah, Star Wars shaped treat tomorrow. Keep an eye on my Instagram tonight. And if you're after some background noise right now, I'll chuck you over to a lovely chum of mine, Mr. Ian Sterling. Uh, love to you too, Hidden Gallifreyan. Have a good evening. Take care of yourselves. Keep up the OM or the NOM. And I'll see you soon.